Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time we explored how God can be infinite. This time, let's look at whether anything else can be infinite besides God, and we can start by again examining what it means to be infinite. The usual meaning of the word is something that, no matter how much you take away, there's always more remaining. In other words, something limitless. So, we can begin by looking at a few of the things that people sometimes think are limitless. I've heard some people say that the mind is limitless because I can think about a limitless number of things. In fact, the limits of the human mind are absolutely staggering, but they do exist. For example, I may be able to calculate a hundred equations, but I can't calculate all 100 of them at the same time. That would be one limit to the mind. Another limit is in how the mind receives information. Our human minds don't receive information directly from the source of truth. We have to pick it up through our senses and our reasoning abilities. So we're limited in how much information our minds have and in how quickly we can access it. We sometimes forget things. Another limit. However, perhaps the greatest limit of the mind is that it didn't always exist. Our minds have a first moment in time when they existed. This limit in time means that the mind of man is definitely not infinite. Some people talk about having limitless possibilities when a person has great power in the world, but this is never actually true. Our human bodies, which were born and will eventually die, do limit our possible courses of action, and so do many other things. Our position in time and space, the limits of our physical control over our surroundings, and our limited knowledge of the consequences of our actions, among other things, all place very big limits on our possibilities. However, even if they didn't, possibilities aren't real things. No matter what we choose to do in the future, we'll only make one of the available choices before moving on to the next choice. We only have one actual future, not a whole lot of futures that we get to experience. Possibilities aren't an actual thing, they're just a potential thing, and that too is a limit. Finally, can't God just use his great power to create another infinite thing in theory? Oddly, no, because anything created by God will have the limit of not always having existed, and will therefore not be infinite. If God ever had made anything that were truly infinite, it would have always existed, and therefore wouldn't have been created by God as such. Any created thing, any other thing in existence apart from God, will always be limited in some sense, because everything else comes from God, and in order to come from God, it needs a beginning point. All things with beginning points are limited, and therefore not infinite. So the final conclusion is that only God can be infinite. It's impossible for anything else. Next time, can there ever be an infinite amount of anything? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.